All right, so here's a quick little update on the uh, C300. Um, you'll notice that there's no there's no carpet in here, and uh, that's because recently we got a lot of rain here in Connecticut. Let's see if my headlamp method will work. And uh, there was this car sat outside for like 10 days. We got four inches of rain in like a day, I think. Um, so there's like an inch of standing water in here. And over here, uh, this is on the driver's side, are all of the wires, the whole wiring harness going up to the, going up to the fuse box, which is right there, goes through here. So I'm just absolutely dousing it in uh, desiccant. Um, what this car is doing right now is it's throwing um, all sorts of warning, every warning imaginable on the dash. I got like SRS, um, cruise control, an op, and a check engine when I started it. And then when I restarted it, I got like uh, brake and ABS warning and like hood open warning. So I uh, drained all the water out, shop vac it as best I could. Now I'm drying it here. So coming up to the front, I have a couple packets of desiccant in the fuse box. And uh, if you notice, there's like some dirt on top of the main plug, the main body harness plug going from the fuse box into the car. Um, and so on the wiper here, this grommet for the driver's side wiper is completely destroyed. So my theory is that water pooled up here. This was probably a little clogged up, especially given the amount of rain. Water pooled up here and just entered right in there and got all over. Hopefully the fuse box is okay and any modules in it, but got all over that and ran down into the harness and the plug. So I'm going to try to dry those out best I can and um, I'm going to try to get a new cowl too. This thing's just falling apart in my hands. So yeah, thought it would be a little more reliable than this, but uh, maybe the uh, previous sunny climate kind of took its toll.